Well, hi there. What is the most hardcore frog? Can't possibly be something called a pixie frog, right? But what if it is? This little cutie is a baby pixie frog that comes to us captive bred from Josh's Frogs, who is the sponsor of this video. And this video is long overdue, as people have been requesting it since we featured pixie frogs on our video of five of the best pet amphibians. And this guy almost seems like a cute little pixie. But remember, it's just a baby. They aren't called pixie frogs because they stay small and cuddly. Because a few years down the road, he's gonna look like this! They're in the genus Pixie Cephalus, meaning box head. And these guys do have some massive noggins. They're pretty much built like angler fish. They're basically a mouth with a small supporting cast behind it. And they're some of the only frogs with big teeth and fangs made of bone. And what do they eat? Mm, everything. Anything smaller or possibly just a little bit bigger than they are. Anything that moves and can fit through that mouth. Frogs are always optimistic about what they can swallow. Well, this is one of the largest frogs in the world, and it is basically just a mouth. But then they're more hardcore. They can estivate in a cocoon of mucus like a lungfish for extended periods of drought. And males, like this one, guard their tadpoles, and they'll mess you up. Oh, and they can live over 40 years, because it's the most hardcore frog that there is. Don't call me Pixie, call me Boxhead. Mm, that's what I'm going to call my little guy. Boxhead, the African bullfrog. Boxhead is an African bullfrog. But is the African bullfrog a good pet? And is it the best pet amphibian for you? To figure this out, we're going to have to score the African bullfrog based on our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. When it comes to handleability, we give the African bullfrog a score of 3 out of 5. Amphibians, due to their permeable skins, are just not great for handling in general. They're also generally a bit slippery, though the texture on the African bullfrog sure helps with that. And this particular frog can also deliver what is probably the worst bite of any frog, due to its size and its giant bone fangs. But they're also not unhandleable. They're about as graceful and athletic as they look. If your hands are clean from chemicals, soap, and pathogens, or better yet, gloved, then it isn't that difficult to grab one without being bone-fanged. Moving them around is very doable. And they don't have any tails to drop, so that's a perk. But they aren't really much fun to handle, other than to say that you have handled the most hardcore of all frogs. When it comes to care, we give the African bullfrog a score of 4 out of 5. Care is not difficult for these frogs. They're frogs, so be sure that the enclosure is clean and that you don't use water with any chemicals like chlorine in it. The enclosure can be very straightforward. A 10-gallon aquarium, probably the cheapest and most available aquarium in the world, is great for juveniles. And you don't need a tank too much bigger than that for an adult like this guy. You will need a lid, as moist skin can provide enough grip to turn even this portly little ribbit into a fat-fanged Spider-Man. For substrate, cocoa fiber like EcoEarth and moss can be great. Make sure that the substrate is deep enough that your frog can bury itself entirely. It should be moist, but not soaking. If it's too dry, instead of dying like most frogs, it will go into estivation, awaiting the return of the rain. To ensure that this doesn't happen, a water bowl that they can soak in would be greatly appreciated. Just make sure that the water you use is clean and free of chemicals. And food? Well... Is it an animal? Is it my size or smaller? I'll eat that. African bullfrogs eat feeders. They eat insects. They eat worms. They eat fish. Heck, they eat birds, lizards, snakes, small mammals, other amphibians. They eat things. The key will be to offer a diversity of feeders and use calcium and vitamin supplementation occasionally. They do well at temperatures a bit over room temperature. You might need to use a heat mat with a thermostat, or you can just pick a location near a heat source, say from another reptile enclosure, to elevate the temperatures a bit in your space if it's too cool. Does anybody know of a hardier frog? Oh yeah, you are a dude. <laughs> oh. 
I don't. Therefore, we give the African bullfrog a score of 5 out of 5 for hardiness. Obviously, they're still amphibians. Drying out can be a danger, though they can deal with it. They can be overheated or get too cold. Mostly, just be careful with what gets on their skin, because once it's on the skin, it will surely get in. When it comes to availability, we give the African bullfrog a score of 4 out of 5. One great thing is that they're virtually all captive bred. This adorable little baby comes to us from Josh's Frogs. I love Josh's Frogs. They're just a one-stop shop for basically any sort of frog you could want, as well as other amphibians and a host of reptiles and arthropods as well. On top of that, they supply everything you'll need to care for them, from enclosures to feeders and everything in between. We'll even have a discount code in the description so you can save a little green on your African bullfrog. They are sometimes available at pet shops and some expos, but not always. But I can definitely say that I've had a great experience with Josh's frogs and everything I've gotten from them. Definitely check them out. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the African bullfrog a score of 5 out of 5. These aren't exceptionally easy to breed in captivity, but when they do breed, they're quite fecund. And as cute as these little guys are as babies, nobody wants hundreds of these little mouths to feed. As a result, the frogs are very affordable. And the thing is that their enclosure is one of the most affordable enclosures that you can get as well. For the first few years, a 10-gallon is perfect. That's the cheapest and easiest aquarium to find on the planet. Eventually, they will need a slightly larger, but still affordable and easy to find aquarium. But a 10 is great to get started. Josh's Frogs even has a complete kit of everything else you will need to make a really beautiful setup for your frog. You can even modify the kit to fit your needs. We'll have a link to that in the description right next to the discount code. But in a nutshell, you'll need a lid with clips or an enclosure with a sliding lid, substrate, probably eco-earth and moss, a water bowl, water conditioner, and whatever else you want to add to beautify your enclosure that is safe for your frog. And that is why overall we give the African bullfrog a score of 4.2 out of 5. If what you want is the most hardcore of frogs, but it still needs to be affordable and reasonable to keep, I have good news, because the African bullfrog is it. Just watch out for those bone fangs. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Oh, you are a dude. Yeah, exhale. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're a big boy, you're a big boy. You are a dude. Oh, dude. All right, here, take a seat. Take a seat, yeah, hang out right there. You're a good froggy. <laughs> Does this one have a name? Ron. Ron well, that's right. Frogs. <laughs> You're magnificent, Ron. To turn even this portly little ribbit into a fat fanged Spider Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs>